let's talk about spring steels. When you get spring steel, oftentimes you've found it from a junkyard and you don't know the alloy, but the biggest problem is it comes in this coil or helix. And what you first need to do is figure out how to unwrap the spring steel so you can start making appropriate tooling out of the steel. Before the spring steel gets loaded into the forge, it's important to check and make sure your tongs grab on firmly to the, the spring and that you have a good grip. Your diameter matches the diameter of the material and you can lift freely your spring without any issue because once it's hot, there's going to be a lot of trouble getting everything aligned if you haven't test fit your tongs because the spring is going to want to roll in any orientation other than up or down before you first start to unwrap the helix. So before you start unwrapping the helix, you want to make sure that you have a U-bar locked in your post vise that can fit the spring steel so that when you do get a straight section, you can start unwrapping it from that helix also want to make sure you have a set of bending forks that fits around the diameter of the rod you're trying to unwrap. These two pieces of tooling will be essential for unwrapping this coil within a heat. Once you get a straight enough section, you can take it over to the anvil and forge it, but it's 
really about finding a way where you can hold on to the material with the tongs firmly and really straighten out the parts that are giving you trouble. So take the time, make sure you've got a good grip, adjust your radius, and then use your bending forks to apply torque so you can straighten out your bar. So, once you have your spring steel to a point where there's a straight section and you're ready to cut it off, you can either cut it off with the hardy or if you have a chop saw, you can use the chop saw. So we're going to use the chop saw, we're going to clamp our work securely to make sure it doesn't move. There's a little quick adjust here that allows us to push forward. We're going to cam the threading so it's engaged and then fully clamp our work piece to the point where when we go to move, our steel the whole fixture is what moves okay so we're locked in place and we are ready to cut Continuous straight piece of spring steel and one still helical part of spring steel. 